Soto Uriyuki or outside forearm block. This karate technique should be first practiced from Shizentai or natural stance. So feet approximately shoulder width apart, toes facing forward. The left blocking arm's elbow is approximately a fist to a fist and a half distance from the body. There should be a 90 degree bend on the blocking arm's elbow and the fist of the blocking arm is approximately shoulder height. Try and keep your shoulders down and relaxed with the palm of the left fist facing towards you. The right hikite arm should be placed at the bottom of the ribs on the right hand side of the body. The fist should be palm up with the elbow pulling down slightly and both shoulders should be kept down and relaxed. Try not to let the elbow stick out, keep the elbow directly behind the fist. So let's try one of these blocks. Let's start with the left arm in the blocking position. So the first thing we're going to do is extend the left arm forward. So when the arm is straight out, the back of the fist is pointing up and fist directly in front of the left shoulder. In the video we have the fist stretching forward but this can also be done with open hand fingers outstretched. The same time as the left arm stretches forward, the right elbow lifts up and behind from the hikite position. As you lift the elbow and the elbow reaches shoulder height, you also lift the right forearm and fist. So the fist is directly above the elbow with the palm of the fist facing out to the right. Now you have the left arm stretching as far forward as you can comfortably and the right arm, the right elbow behind and elbow directly out from the shoulder. The elbow should be at least shoulder height with the fist directly above the elbow. Now bring the blocking arm down and across the center of the body. The elbow takes a straight line from the high position to the finished position. The blocking part of the arm is the inside of the forearm, the muscly part, the soft part, not the bone. As the blocking arm gets level with the right side of the body, rotate the forearm strongly so the finished arm position is the same as explained earlier in the video. As you perform the actual block with the blocking arm, you at the same time pull the left hikite strongly back. Be sure to keep the elbow on line with the side of the body as you pull the arm back. And make sure the elbow and fist come back in a straight line. As soon as you start the pull back, rotate the left hikite arm so the bottom of the fist faces down. As the hikate arm reaches the side of the body, finish the rotation strongly by rotating the forearm and fist. The fist is then in the hikate position with the palm up and elbow pulling down slightly. Try again, once again, try and keep both shoulders square and relaxed.